The anticipation among Sony enthusiasts and the wider photography community is reaching a fever pitch as Sony prepares for its B-Alpha event in Barcelona on October 16, 2025. Industry insiders and fans alike are speculating that this could be the moment when Sony finally introduces the next-generation A7 mirrorless camera, widely rumored to be the Sony A7 V. While official details remain under wraps, an increasing number of leaks, certifications, and insider tips are beginning to sketch a clear picture of what this highly anticipated model might offer. The A7 series has long been the cornerstone of Sony's full-frame mirrorless lineup, celebrated for striking a balance between cutting-edge technology, performance, and affordability. With the A74 now three years old, the timing feels perfect for a significant upgrade, the A7 V is expected to be more than a simple iteration, it could mark a major leap forward for hybrid photographers and videographers seeking a versatile, all-in-one camera capable of delivering top-tier stills and video performance. Recent developments have added weight to these expectations. A new Sony camera recently appeared in the Indonesian certification database under the code WW824259. Details revealed that the camera is manufactured in Thailand, mirroring the production location of the A74. While this might seem like a minor detail, it strongly hints that the A75 could be the next model in the A7 series, following the same manufacturing strategy Sony has used for previous releases. Historically, such certifications tend to appear one to two months before official announcements, suggesting that the A75 could be formally revealed in mid-November 2025, with shipments expected to begin in early 2026. This timing would place the market eagerly on the edge of discovering Sony's next major full-frame mirrorless innovation. One of the most exciting rumors surrounding the Sony A75 revolves around its sensor technology. Leaks suggest that Sony could introduce a new 44-megapixel full-frame sensor, offering a substantial resolution boost over the A74's 33 megapixels. However, other reports indicate the possibility of a reworked or partially stacked 33-megapixel sensor instead, a design that isn't completely new but enhanced for faster readout speeds and improved overall performance. Sony's sensor development philosophy has always focused on efficiency and optimization. A stacked or semi-stacked architecture could effectively reduce rolling shutter, a limitation that was still present in the A74, particularly when shooting fast-moving subjects or video. Regardless of the approach, the A75 is expected to balance resolution with speed, providing hybrid shooters with a tool capable of excelling in both photography and high-quality video production. Processing power is another area where the Sony A75 is rumored to shine. The camera is expected to be powered by the proven Bions XR processor, now paired with Sony's dedicated AI processing chip. This combination has already demonstrated its effectiveness in recent flagship models like the A7R5 and A93, delivering advanced subject recognition, sophisticated image processing, and highly responsive performance. Integrating the AI chip into the A75 would likely result in smarter autofocus, improved color rendition, and more effective noise reduction in challenging lighting conditions. Sony has long been a leader in autofocus technology, and the A75 appears poised to extend that dominance further. With AI-driven real-time subject detection capable of recognizing humans, animals, birds, and even vehicles, photographers may soon enjoy a near-hands-off focusing experience. This promises highly accurate tracking, particularly for fast-moving subjects, a feature that could significantly reduce missed shots for sports, wildlife, and event photographers. The A75 is also expected to deliver substantial improvements in shooting speed. Whereas the A74 could achieve 10 frames per second in continuous shooting, early reports suggest the A75 might double that capability to an impressive 20 frames per second. Such performance would bring it closer to Sony's higher-end models, making it an attractive choice for photographers who require quick bursts without compromising image quality. Alongside this, buffer performance and write speeds are rumored to be enhanced, with faster card interfaces such as CF Express Type-A in addition to SD UHS-2 slots likely included. These upgrades would allow for more extended shooting sessions without interruption, a critical feature for professional event or sports photography. Video capabilities also appear to be a major focus for the A75, reinforcing its position as a true hybrid camera. Rumors indicate that Sony might finally deliver on crop 4K 60p recording, a feature users have been requesting since the A74's release. Other whispers suggest the potential for 4K 120p, 6K oversampled, and possibly even 8K recording modes, although the exact configurations at launch remain uncertain. 
Regardless, it is clear that Sony intends to elevate the A7V's video performance to match the demands of professional filmmakers and content creators. Combined with 10-bit 4-2-2 internal recording, S-Log3, and S-Cinetone profiles, the A7 V could deliver cinematic color science straight out of the box, reducing the need for extensive post-processing while providing a highly flexible editing workflow. Heat management also seems to be a priority this time, addressing a common limitation for long-form shooting and allowing extended takes without overheating, a crucial enhancement for professional videographers and streamers alike. Ergonomics and overall design are also reportedly receiving a major overhaul. The A75 is expected to feature a magnesium alloy chassis, improving both durability and heat dissipation. Enhanced weather sealing may make the camera more reliable for outdoor use, while design cues borrowed from Sony's higher-end models, such as the A93 or A7R5, could provide a more comfortable grip and better button placement. The rear display is rumored to be a 3.2-inch fully articulating touchscreen, providing greater flexibility for vlogging, low-angle shooting, and vertical video production. Meanwhile, the electronic viewfinder might receive a substantial upgrade to a 5.76 million dot panel, offering higher clarity, smoother refresh rates, and a significantly improved experience over the A74's 3.69 million dot EVF. Connectivity is another area where Sony appears to be future-proofing the A75. Expectations include USB-C 3.2 for rapid data transfer, Wi-Fi 6 for robust wireless performance, and possibly Bluetooth 5.3 to ensure seamless integration with mobile devices. These improvements could make the A75 one of Sony's most connected cameras to date, enabling faster workflows for professional shooters who rely on cloud uploads, remote operation, or live streaming. Combined with enhanced autofocus, improved video capabilities, and a more versatile sensor, these connectivity features position the A75 as a highly capable tool for modern content creators working in fast-paced environments. Pricing for the Sony A75 is rumored to be around $3,000 for the body only. This is approximately $500 higher than the A74's launch price but seems reasonable considering the potential improvements in sensor resolution, AI-driven autofocus, faster continuous shooting, enhanced video recording, and better heat management. Positioned between the A74 and A7R5 in Sony's lineup, the A75 could appeal to hybrid creators who require high-quality imaging and robust video performance without stepping into full flagship territory. It may offer a sweet spot for professionals and enthusiasts looking for versatility and performance in a single, well-rounded package. If the leaks prove accurate, the Sony A75 could redefine what creators expect from a $3,000 full-frame mirrorless camera. By offering AI-enhanced autofocus, faster burst rates, improved thermal performance, advanced video recording capabilities, and thoughtful ergonomics, the A75 would bridge the gap between mid-range and flagship models. For hybrid photographers and videographers who need flexibility in both stills and motion capture, it represents a significant evolution of the A7 series, delivering tools that previously would have required multiple specialized cameras. As the October 16th B Alpha event approaches, the excitement is palpable. Whether Sony teases the A7 V at the event or waits until a formal November unveiling, it is clear that the next chapter in the A7 series is imminent. The rumored specification suggests that the A7 V could set a new benchmark for hybrid mirrorless cameras, blending speed, intelligence, and image quality in a compact and ergonomic body. For professionals and enthusiasts alike, the Sony A7 V promises to be more than just a refresh, it is shaping up to be a true evolution in Sony's mirrorless legacy, offering a level of versatility, performance, and creative potential that could define the next generation of full-frame cameras.